trying something a little bit different with this series. We're talking trials with Seth Borseth, who is a fellow rider in the Trials Inc. Club that I'm a part of, but he's also riding the National Line. Here we go. All right, guys, so welcome. I'm super excited to start some trials talk. So today I've got Seth Borseth on the phone here in a video call. And we're going to show some footage of him riding as well. But Seth, do you mind telling us a little bit more about yourself, where you're from, how long you've been riding, stuff like that? Yeah, I'm uh, from Louisville, Kentucky. Well, really, originally grew up in uh, Oldham County. And I was riding outside in my backyard for about, I've been always doing that. I've been started riding when I was like four, or 13, 14 years old. Uh, now I'm 20, so it's, it's, time is flying by, and uh, yeah, trying to got some help from Stan Fassel riding around, teaching me a couple things, setting up sections for me to practice. And not, not too much. <laughs> so would you say Sam's kind of been like a mentor to you in your uh, in your riding career then? Yeah, definitely. Very behind my house. It wasn't really our property, but still rode in there. And, uh, yeah, so it was just motivation for him to go down to help me because it was good riding for him. <laughs> I was learning a whole bunch. That's awesome. That's awesome. I think there's definitely a lot that can be said for that mentoring relationship where people are passing down the knowledge that they have to other people. And it sounds like you're working at TTC now. So, so tell me, tell me about the work you're doing there. What are you doing? Uh, we're getting ready for TKO, uh, my first day. We're working on going on the amateur loop, trying to get that ready. Uh, trying to ride it out. We're, we're gonna do some ribbon. We're we we'll start putting up ribbon uh, Thursday or Friday. Or no, Saturday, Sunday. And then right now we're rebuilding the walkway, going to the public bathroom. So. Tell me about how you decided to start riding the national event. Uh, I don't know. I was kind of started out. My first national was probably 2017 i was riding my circuit 290 at ttc i checked the first day and i was like oh i can ride the club in line went out and got like fifth or sixth i was it's just more of just like a official event for me to ride not just a local event so it's just a cool i don't know i kind of just jumped into it, it just once win a national championship when a start competing against the top dogs or of the classes that is so it's just more official than a local, but it's still learned a lot from them. <laughs> How have you managed that pressure? Do you have any strategies to try to, uh, you know, prepare yourself mentally or physically? Um, I'm working on it. It's a constant <laughs> building on trying to figure it all out. I think I really just, I really just need to relax and concentrate. I'm I'm rushing way too much in it, so I'm just going in super fast. It's like, oh, I got a time limit. I gotta get it. Gotta go fast, and I'm just getting points, not taking enough time. It's it's a work in progress. All right, so Seth, what would you say to someone who is thinking about riding a national event and they've only ridden their you know local events? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think uh, they need to be a certain level, or, or what what advice would you give them? So. If they're right on like intermediate line, club or the novice line, I'll probably say wait a little bit, get to the sportsman in advance for just to ride clubman. You don't need a hop in clubman at all. You kind of can turn everything. And it's kind of just no pressure or anything. Just go ride the first event, not thinking about whole line. Just try to learn through it. And it's treat it like a local TI event, but with a clock on it. Don't take too much time. Just have fun, at least for the first couple. Start to take it seriously if you want. But it's a commitment if you have to drive like uh, 16 hours to the national. In your training, in your you know average day, if you got to go out and ride for an hour or two hours, what kind of things would you be working on? I'd be. I need to start working in a clock into my section try to ride sections and try to ride them over and over again. Pretty difficult. Kind of like what Ryan says, try to get threes and fives and then try to work up to a, a clean. Start cleaning it consistently, rain, shine, no matter what uh, the conditions are. So it's it's uh, just 
practice these sections, and I need to practice slowing down the 300, the 300 TRS is a heck of a bike, and it's hard to control sometimes, so I'm trying to slow down my riding, and try to take my time, and try to add a clock in there, so I can see how long it takes me for certain things. Down here at TTC, I can actually go practice the national sections, and I can go get actual good section training in. Yeah, for sure. Take advantage of that while you can. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Jeff, just one last question here. What advice would you give for someone who's wanting to ride more competitions, potentially even the national or just move up a class? What what kind of competition advice do you have for anyone? Uh, go and have fun. I, that, I rode that vintage trials event. That was the most fun I've had in a long time coming in there. It's not always about hitting the big stuff. I like taking the turns and doing a difficult turn. So it's really just have fun, make have fun with the go and ride with someone. I usually ride by myself to concentrate, but it's think about moving up. You're you gotta be prepared. You're just gonna be stumped, might be frustrated for a little bit, but trying to practice harder than what you're gonna ride. So it's for five years, five or six years, I'm a, I don't, I still need to get some wisdom under my belt. Sure, sure. Take your time. Anything you want to say to, or any uh, sponsors you want to thank as well? Oh yeah, I'd like to thank Sam Fassel for uh, supporting me, sponsoring me. Uh, it's good to have a Kentucky, local Kentucky help, and uh, I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me through all this. DAD racing, I like to say. <laughs> Or M O M and D A D. That's a better word to say. It. There you go. <laughs> and uh, thanks for layering for allowing me to come work down here. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of this talking trial series. The idea is to interview other riders, especially on a specific topic, keep it short, and overlay some B roll footage as well to keep it interesting. If you guys haven't heard, I do have a membership on the channel, which includes trials curriculum. So I'm putting together a whole bunch of videos for members only. So if you guys want bonus footage, check out the link that I'm gonna include here so you can learn more about it.